games, guys. What's been out this year? What have you guys all been playing this year? What are your hopes for this year? Oh, well, I, uh, I picked up uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate on the release day. It actually didn't have a midnight release because so many people were just absolutely heartbroken by Unity mm. and they weren't ready to trust Unity <laughs> again. Yeah, they, they weren't ready to trust Ubisoft again. Yeah. But um, I got it. It's, I'd say it's better than 3, not as good as 4, and definitely not as good as the classics, but at the very least, it redeems Ubisoft for Unity. Yeah. I'll, I'll go as far as to say that, and it's the first Assassin's Creed game since Brotherhood that I've actually stuck around till after the story to continue doing stuff. In summary, it's decent. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a very decent game. Yeah, I heard Ben Spiel says up there in the top three Assassin's Creed games. Yeah? Um, like up there with like two and Black Flag. Oh, oh wow. People said. But, like, that's, that's, that's a big statement. It is a big right? statement. <laughs> that's, that's a very big statement. Yeah, apparently it's really good. Yeah, yeah I'll, good comeback. Yeah, I'll back that. <laughs> yeah. Brother back from decent to good. <laughs> <laughs> that's coming out this year. The Witcher 3? Oh, Witcher 3, of course. Yeah. I haven't played that yet. Oh, you amazing. need to get on The Witcher 3. That was my game of the year for a while, but I feel um, Flat 4 could take that. Oh, oh. People Battlefront. Think of it this way, there is so much content oh, in yeah. The Witcher 3. It's like Skyrim. That it's, yeah. it's like, like, you go to a bush in hope for a quest, and you get a quest. <laughs> that's essentially how it feels. Quests <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, like you can you can just so you can walk wherever you want and you'll pick up a quest. It's like yeah. guaranteed you'll get a quest. Yeah, it's insane. So and like, good. oh, there's just so much stuff. The story is mm. so good. Oh, it's good. Each side mission has so much story in it, and it feels better written than so many other games. And does it does it fall into the traps of our three main quest types: FedEx, Escort, and? Mm. Not, not quite, not really? quite. No, it doesn't really fall under too much of that. I mean, there is a lot of fighting. There is a lot of fighting, yeah. Yeah. I, I like the fact that you can pick your lines and there's yeah, consequences. There's, there is some oh. serious story-driven consequences yeah. by the lines you pick. So, like The Walking Dead? Mm. Yeah. Not yeah. to that extent, but pretty close. Yeah, pretty, pretty okay. heavy. So it's not like a Mass Effect game where no matter what you say, you'll always get the exact same response mm. and they'll forget about it. Almost like every line has a different outcome, mm. guaranteed. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Okay, it's I'm going to play really that. Cool. It's huge. I'm still in the first area. Yeah, I've got, I've, got like, I've got like four hours logged in the game and I'm like, I haven't even scratched the surface <laughs> yet. <laughs> not, not White Orchid, but the second lane's villain. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I still haven't been to the islands yet. Yeah, I've got to make my way over the islands, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've okay. just reached a level where I can do that. How Why many do hours of gameplay that? do you think is in There's that? too much. Oh, <laughs> on Hell of the Bay, it's like 150 or something. It's insane. Oh. And th- th- that doesn't factor in all the other side quests. Well, like all oh, that, that, that's, side that's with the completionist one. Oh, yeah. The main story is probably 50, 60. Yeah. yeah. I can bring it up. That's, okay. yeah, I think that's pretty huge. Yeah. It's big. Yeah, they did put a lot of content into the game. Yeah, yeah. I, had to make, I had to make space on my Xbox for like some of the upcoming titles. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I was like looking for games to delete. I'm like, I can't uninstall <laughs> The Witcher 3. I, <laughs> that has to stay on my Xbox. Yeah. I actually deleted Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, I, dra- I deleted Dragon Age I love the game. I was, but I was actually kind of disappointed with it. Were you expecting something like Skyrim? Not necessarily, but I just, people just told me how amazing Dragon Age Inquisition was. I got it. When you compare it to the other Dragon Age games, it is a very solid game. Oh, yeah. But, like, if you're comparing it to the likes of a game that's almost in a different genre, like Skyrim, it's not... It's very different to Skyrim. Yeah, a lot of people compared it to Skyrim. That's probably the problem. Mm. But, uh... Okay, here we go. The main story for The Witcher, 43 and a half hours. Main plus extras, 94 and a half. And then completion is 165. 165 <laughs> game. I can feel my life just I think the only games I've played that much is Skyrim and Pokemon and Destiny. Oh and the only God. games I've played that That's long. That's 165 hours of your life you're never going to get back. And you probably won't want back. <laughs> no, like, it. It. Oh, and that's, yeah. that's not to mention all the time you'll spend picking... Like stuff for alchemy and stuff. Oh yeah, oh. you'll be spending a lot of time doing that. And not that to mention the uh, eighteen-hour DLC, which just came out. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's another one coming there's out after that too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Awesome. And on all the free DLC, they're releasing. Oh out. yeah, they've had. Well, there's not DLC, but like little bits of like. like yeah, little chunks. Yeah, bonus stuff. content. But they did just a statement to industry because like how people charge so much of DLC. So like we'll release little bits for free. Yeah, projects raise a very good developer. That's, that's good. Oh, yeah. It's good that a triple A industry is able to say, okay, we understand the problems that oh, yeah. companies <laughs> are bringing about. We're going to try and fix it. Mm. They're not Here's a major triple A. I don't even know if they're triple A. They could be 
Not as big, but I'm pretty sure they're triple A. They're definitely yeah. triple A. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. With their market, 165 hours. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. And they got that new game coming out, which they say is even bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like I think it's Steampunk or something. Or oh, I remember. Like, I, oh, like, it was uh, like Steampunk 2077 or something oh, like that. Is that it? That could be it. Yeah, that. that I think that's mm-hmm. it. Is that? Is that, is that the one with um, like where humans are brought back to like uh. Caveman ages, but the dinosaurs are mechanical now. Or am I no, thinking that's, something totally um, different? Oh, I know. Oh, I, I saw know. that pop up a while ago. They came out E three. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks good. I think it looks it's, not right. it's not until two thousand sixteen that. Yeah, it's like oh. it, it looks pretty decent. Horizons Zero Dawn. That's Horizons Zero Dawn. That's what it's called. Yeah. Yep. It looks pretty cool. Who developed it? Developed it though. I don't know. I remember. I, I, haven't, um, I haven't paid much attention to this. I haven't been following really too much of the smaller E3 titles. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Certainly been following. Mainly because E3 that. this year was so big in terms of oh, Xbox oh, and so PlayStation. Was huge. So it's many games. Backwards compatibility, like releasing, like releases. Like, For like, Xbox One? Yeah, or? Xbox One's getting backwards compatibility. God damn it. It's not true. Like, you can't put a 360 disc in. You gotta, like, like, you gotta fizz. I think it's like a download yeah. that you. Like, you uh, they're porting them pretty much. Yeah, they're pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, if you own the disc for one of the games, you get a download for the new one. Oh, that's yeah. so it was something like that, right? That's yeah. all right. That, that's still pretty decent. It's good though. It's good I, they're doing it. Hopefully, PlayStation follows. I yeah, hopefully. Well, uh, actually, I read an article the other day saying they were porting PlayStation One and Two games to the PlayStation Four. Oh, okay, they did that to the PS Three. So. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like some PS Three games ported forward though, because like there are some games like. Remakes. Yeah, HD remakes, stuff like Ratchet. Clank, the day Spire I see King. Medieval will be the Red day. Red Dead Redemption. Happen. Oh, oh, that'd be great. I love yeah. that. That's am I the only one who hasn't played Red Dead Redemption? Yes, you're yeah. a am I, a, am and you I, should. Yeah. Dude, That's that boring. game came out in 2010. It's still I would still, it's, I would pay full price for it today. Yeah, yeah it looks amazing still. It's it amazing. is. It's basically wow. Grand Theft Auto, but with horses. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the and one game that I did sidestep. I, I don't know why, I just sidestepped it. It's like, it's it's like, 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 yeah. I don't have a last gen console though. That's not a PC, is it? No, no. no. I, I remember that like everyone was up in arms about that. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. Rockstar's all against PC gamers, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. they might have, they might have been at some stage, but I think the release for the the PC release for Grand Theft Auto Five oh, was a great port. Amped up. Awesome port. You even had like you could even like adjust the RAM usage for your graphics card oh, and everything. Yeah, like, it, it was really that's solid port. That's really. that's commitment. That's something that's gonna make the. Uh, the PC you can have a toaster. Happy. You can have a Master toaster race. and that game will still run. Oh <laughs> I'm Joe. I'm Pat. I'm Lucas. I'm Tim. Catch with your ass side. And we're the Planet Geeks. See you later.